morning everyone and welcome back. Everything's packed up for deer hunting here. It's uh, 6.16. Sarah is supposed to be out here at 6.30 we're hitting the road. We've got 28 degrees here. I just looked up. It's 22 degrees at the tent. Uh, we do have some mornings that are supposed to drop down into the 12 and 13 degrees up there so it should be fun. Good morning! Pretty sure I'm the last one that drove in here when I drove out last weekend and I don't know what deer hunting is going to be like this weekend but it's going to be interesting to say the least. Now we're in the tent driveway, more trees to clear. Well, everything looks good in here, but I've got to get that stove going. It's chilly, and we have a lot to do today. <laughs> My dad, he did come up. He's stopped. He's walking out to his clearing stand right now, and he said he was pretty glad I come in in front of him to clear all those trees. Looks like we have 30 degrees inside here, 26 degrees outside. That means my uh, beer that's in here should be pretty cold. <laughs> lake looked so pretty last weekend when the uh, snow was here and it was not frozen over yet and once it gets frozen over it just looks desolate and cold. It's cold enough so the fan doesn't even really want to work. Get some of that warm air blowing around in here. Welcome back to the tent. <laughs> when was the last time you were even here? Last year deer hunting? I think so. Wow. I caught the summer, I don't think. So. 
once we start bringing it in and I've got more than me up here this tent starts getting small real fast that's why I need the cabin to be built Brought up Halloween candy, some chips, brought up some popcorn in case Emily wants to cook some up. Got a bunch of snacky stuff there. Yep. Potatoes. And we're gonna have hamburgers for lunch. Brought up my Johnny seasoning that I just got. Hopefully you guys have been going over to Tax City Goods and getting your 20% off. Got the maple syrup. Well done. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> They're almost like jerky. Not quite frozen, it's still good. Good job. Yeah. Part way and then all then all of a sudden I would see a little orange do that thing. But now that I'm out there, in fact, I ought to never found it in the morning. So that one in the clearing? Yeah, I suppose oh. the trees are getting bigger now. Yeah. Because of all that snow. Through all really? Yeah. Yeah, he'll have to come up today and hopefully he'll, he'll have a job getting out there. But I mean, he's oh, going to. Yes, he's good. Because you know. I'm sure on everything is. He's hitting the hospital bad when you do it up here. This is the stuff that's pushing past. She's finding the exact binary sequence. And I can talk with the major version of that amplifier. I'm going to do it. Let's see if this thing should dry or How was that last 50 miles of driving? Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> were you, when you were bringing that trailer in, did it pull the snow with you? Or did it ride over the top? I think it pulled it. Did it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> almost, almost slid us off the road coming down on, like, the highway part. It did, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, when well, you were on the, the regular tar? Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah, I gotta go check mine because mine might have collapsed again. I'm not sure. No problem. Should we go? Yeah. All right. Well, Zachary and Samantha are gonna set up the pop-up. Maybe that'll work tonight. If not, they can sleep in the tent. And uh, Sarah and I are gonna make our way to the stands. The first one we have to go to is hers. I should just go. Yeah, so you go kind of towards those two trees that are at an angle. Yeah. <laughs> just to the right of it, and I'll go over and pull the trail camera.
it sounds like this fresh four or five inches of snow that fell happened last night so it's really hard to see and I don't see any real deer tracks but they would have all been covered up. That's a deer track there. Cool. Come through here. Looks like a good sign. Oh, could have been a buck. I don't know. Let's see if he walked far enough so I'd be able to see him at the stand. You know, he is. Legs are far apart, dragging his feet. They're big. They could be a buck. Then he went out this way. Yeah, and he went up in through there. I might be able to see him if I'm watching real close, but he, not with the snow on the trees like this. to that far stand to grab that uh, trail camera. This is the clear part of the trail. Look at that. And that's a solid 25 minute walk all the way back there. Nope, I think we'll wait. What's in that one? Same thing. Is it? Yeah. Carrot cake bars? Yeah, or spice cake or something. It has like cream cheese frost. Oh, yeah. Okay, what are the things? Sarah made taco hot dish for tonight, so I just plugged in the slow cooker. It's pretty cold right now, but in a few hours, it should be nice and piping hot. Well, Zach hasn't been up here since uh, 2015, and he's always the one that draws the picture. Get on it, dude. <laughs> Zach and I were just out here by the fire pit measuring things up because I want to have a cast iron type uh, cooking station type deal where you got the pole a pole going up on each side of the fire pit and 
and the bar going across with hooks and, and a grate that kind of peels over and goes on to the fire or you can spin it back off again. So we were just looking at all that, but it's, it's chilly out. It's going to be a chilly morning tomorrow. So right now Zach is just turning on the first live feed from your channel, right? Yep. Yeah, Zach Jensen. And there we are. Wow. Uh, there was Wayne. Oh, he was. Oh, and I recognized him, but I didn't. We're just getting our uh, bags and our guns ready for tomorrow morning right now. Look. Let's see, let's check it. Sure enough, not only was Dad there, but we looked behind us and Grandpa had walked into the thing and seen it on too. So it was kind of a cool first year. <laughs> Zach and Sam are grabbing their stuff, gonna run over to the pop-up. Remember guys, if it gets too cold, just come on over here, right? Just sleep in the bunks. See you guys in the morning. Okay, everyone. Well, everyone else has went to bed. It's about 10 to 10. I'm going to shut things down and crawl in the bed. Tomorrow morning, deer hunting starts. Sarah, it's 4.30, it's time to wake up. Sarah, it's 10 minutes to 5, it's time to wake up. Good morning everybody. Welcome to opening day of the Firearms Minnesota Deer Season. Uh, there's a wind out of the east right now. It's 25 degrees and lightly snowing. You ready to whack some deer? Yeah. Or go back to sleep? Yeah. <laughs> in the morning, then light snow, possibly mixed with rain and freezing rain in the afternoon. Snow accumulation of 1 to 3 inches. Highs in the mid-30s. East wind 5 to 15 miles per hour with gusts to around 25 miles per hour. Tonight, light snow, possibly mixed with rain and freezing rain in the evening, then light snow, possibly mixed with rain after midnight. Snow accumulation up to two inches. Load. Potato chips for breakfast. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> get more people trying to add me on Facebook. <laughs> I don't feel like I, I feel like I'm one short shy of a good day. I do. Yeah. Uh, you can grab one of those. That's all I can think of because I don't know what happened to. Any other ones? What's Everything you need in here? Yeah, pretty okay. sure. Yeah, that's pretty much Good luck, guys. Talk to you later. Good luck. I just got up in my stand at 6.09 and shoot at uh, 7.17, so I've got a while to wait. Well, it's a little after 11 o'clock right now. I think it's time I get down and head back to the tent. Zachary and Samantha are making jambalaya for lunch today. If I was a deer, I wouldn't be walking around today. All these clumps of snow falling off the trees. I haven't heard any shots, nothing nearby. I think I heard one that was maybe a couple miles away, but nothing close. Drive back the long way. Emily just texted me. She's uh, just about to drive the last hour and a half here and it's really icy so I'm kind of worried about that but she's coming up anyway. Lucky I came this way. Emily wouldn't get through that. Did you see anything? No, Nothing? I didn't see anything. Huh. 
Sarah, did you see anything? I didn't see a thing. Wow. <laughs> you don't have any boots up here? <laughs> no. <laughs> you got sausage and shrimp in there? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's going to be good. It smells really good in here. Just done. I'm heading back out to my stand. Zachary, he just left. Uh, we'll see his truck up here in a little bit. Uh, Sarah's gonna walk out to hers in a little while. My dad, he isn't even gonna go out uh, with this weather. George texted me, and the deer are just gonna lay low. They're not gonna be doing much. But for me, it's you never know. There's always that one dumb one once in a while that'll go out for a snack and can't shoot him sitting in the tent. Well, everyone, it's pushing six o'clock here. Normally I would stay for about another 15 minutes, but Zach just uh, texted me and there's a tree down in the tent driveway and he can't get through. So I need to get back there with my chainsaw, get that cut up, get the barbecue going or whatever I'm gonna do so we can make up some pork steaks. No deer today, but I definitely put in my time. There was some fresh tracks over my tracks when I walked in, I walked in here. They didn't go all the way back here, but there's deer around somewhere. While I was sitting in the stand, a deer crossed right here, right over my tracks. They're around here, they're just not making it back by the stand yet. I just come around the corner and there's a deer right here eating right on this stuff, that the tree that broke down, right on the ends of it. it took off running down the road. They're around here, I just uh, need to get him to go by my stand. Zach said he walked up to the tent and Sarah isn't back there yet, so I might as well wait for her. I can see your headlamp up in the stand and actually shooting time ends in two minutes, so she did right by staying there. I just grabbed my headlamp so I could go over and shine it over by to where Sarah's coming. And I hear a crack and the top of that tree just snapped right off. I was out in my stand today and I saw a couple trees that just snapped, the tops did. Yeah, I've really never had it like this up deer hunting before. I've had snow before and everything, but not where it's just dumping all the trees like this. Did you see anything? Nothing. Any fresh tracks? No. Nothing? Nothing. Huh, nice night to sit though, huh? Yeah, really nice. Yeah. I'm like, they could fall on me. Right, so you heard a few of them break? Yep. Yeah, it's scary. You think they're going to fall on you when you're... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I seen when I got there, I could see your light up in the uh, up in the stand when Zach said he had went back to the tent and you weren't there. I was like, well, I might as well pick you up. I'm right here. Yeah. 
less than a minute and we are over 400 people. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the barbecue going here because it's late. Tomorrow is daylight, or tonight is daylight savings time. So when you get off the stand tomorrow, you got an extra hour. But they're doing the live Jones Act survival thing right now, so I feel quite comfortable out here. Games? Uh, yes, I do like games. Oh, what's this? Someone asked, why wasn't Sarah around for duck season this year? I had other stuff going on. I had like events I had to sell at, so I skipped it. So is the one next to Zach his wife? Yes, this is my soon-to-be beautiful bride. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> 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 How you have a spot? <laughs> if we have like our own separate area, that way we're not... Because like the bunks get full with our bags and stuff. Well, I got five baked potatoes, I got four pork steaks, and uh, I don't know, three or four, whatever it was, pork chops on there. And it's just over charcoal, but then I threw in some, just two handfuls of maple uh, wood chips, just to give it a little bit of a smoky taste. Seven point seven thousand views, an hour and a half, about. People? Yeah. Did some point or another? Yeah. Well, the live stream is done, well, and it's dinner time. We have 7.7 .7 tonight. That was on his channel, though. Uh, Alright, Jones Act is over. Yeah. 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 It was too late. We were discovered. We started taking on heavy fire. Shower water's ready. It's a little warm, that the one on the left there, but okay. it's ready. Awesome. Okay, everyone. Well, it looks like it's snowing out again here. It's about 10 o'clock. Showers are done. Dinner is all done. I'm going to head for bed. I know Sarah's going to go to bed here. Emily will stay up. And Zach and Sam, I'm not sure when they're going to leave. But anyway, I will see you guys in the morning. And now the daylight savings is tonight. Instead of waking up at... Uh, I had it set for 4.30. I should have set it for 3.30, but I was up early, so I'll set my alarm for 4 o'clock. We'll see you guys in the morning. Do you think by sleeping in that bunk I won't find you in the morning? <laughs> Is that your hope? <laughs> you have the tent. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Hope you guys... Sarah, it's about five after four. It's time to wake up. Sarah, it's a quarter after four. It's time to wake up. At least it's 10 degrees warmer this morning than it was yesterday morning. That's nice. wind has switched directions today. It was off the lake yesterday, now it's going towards the lake, so now it's more out of the west.
Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's see what the next couple miles bring. Cutting trees is definitely not something I wanted to be doing with this many pairs of clothes on. <laughs> Here's where George goes in. He owes me. <laughs> I've cleared that road so many times. Look at that, right past this road, another one that has to get cut. Had to use the chainsaw on that one. I'm almost to my stand. <laughs> Well, I'm in my parking spot. It's actually 5.27 because we had daylight savings last night. So I uh, usually like to be in my stand by this time, but anyway, we're not too far behind. Well, we got some fresh deer tracks coming out anyway. Well, I'm gonna get my legs into the sleeping bag and get my uh, pull over hood thing on, get all set up here. I'm gonna head back to the tent here pretty quick. Zachary and Sam are going home. Emily's going home. As far as the clock time goes, I'm 45, half hour, 45 minutes earlier than I left yesterday, but as far as the sun time goes, I'm pretty close. So I'm gonna sit here a little while longer and then I'm gonna head back. like the trail where I walk in and I'm like oh my gosh and I like got my gun up and then boop. It was a doe or you couldn't? It was a doe. It was. It was right like right at shooting time. It was all oh, right early in the morning yes. huh? So I don't know if it like heard me or something or if it was just like running and stopped for a second and then kept running. I don't know. Huh interesting. At least you've seen one. Yeah I know. It was exciting. Did you see anything? Sarah did I guess but It's looking colder and colder every day. Oh, how is it being in here? Pretty good? Yeah, we just put them in here. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah we'll just leave it there all winter. You can pick it up opening fishing. That'll be perfect. Yeah, that'll work out. This morning, like right at shooting time, kind of walking on her tracks coming in, but too dark. I mean, at shooting time, you can't see anything. Yeah. You know, so 
Uh, yeah. It was running, so it like ran and then walked for like maybe a second or two, and then it ran again. So it was there for maybe a couple a seconds. More. Well, if he's in that clearing or along the edge, and the wind, you know, I mean, it was it was brutal. It was a little rugged today. Yeah. You know, yeah. there were a couple times I was shivering, and then the wind died down, and I warmed back up again. So, well, all right. I think I'll head over. Well, good luck if you get out. This yeah, afternoon. I'll go out this afternoon. Hopefully, we'll see something. Otherwise, yeah, I'm sure I'll see you in the next couple of days. Probably yeah. see you next weekend if you're up or whatever. Yeah, I don't know what Tom wants to do. There's a camera right there. Why don't you look out the damn window, huh? All right, good luck. Well everyone, shooting time is just ending right now. As you can see it's cold, 23 degrees, the low tonight is 13, the high tomorrow is 26, but it's supposed to be sunny tomorrow and less wind. It has been blowing all day long. Uh, the deer just aren't moving around, there has been no shots at all that I've heard the whole entire day. But I put forth a good effort. Tomorrow's a new day and the season is still very early. You see anything tonight? I didn't see nothing. No, me neither. I didn't even see a squirrel tonight. I saw a squirrel. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I saw one squirrel. <laughs> Well, tonight for dinner, what we're going to do is take the rest of these pork chops and cut them all up into little pieces, get rid of the bone, throw that in a cast iron pan, mushrooms, and we got some more of these broken shrimp. And then uh, we'll just throw it all in the cast iron pan, put it on the wood stove. And I think instead of using my usual Hunter's Blend Johnny's, we're going to try this Johnny's seafood seasoning, the lemon dill, just to see how it is. And remember, if you guys, you're watching this long deer hunting movie, if you haven't seen the video I posted for that uh, Tax City Goods where they're offering the 20% off to the Joe and Zach people by putting Joe and Zach in the discount code. Go to the videos and check that out and uh, if you guys want to try some of this or the Hunter's Blend or any of the stuff that I use until November 30th everybody gets that discount. Sarah and I just tried this and I actually think it's going to be pretty good. Both she liked it too. So it'll be in I mean it's not going to be just on seafood, but I bet it's going to be good. It's definitely a little chilly in the tent. The butter is even kind of coming on hard. <laughs> That's enough to feed us.
check right <laughs> Well, Sarah just hopped in the shower. It's a little bit of a different atmosphere up here for deer hunting because you have to get up so early. <laughs> but anyway, we're getting it all done. Somebody commented, I don't know if it was on the Northern Seclusion Instagram or if it was on the Jones X Survival Facebook or I don't know, one of the videos, but it's, they said, is Sarah going to eat a whole can of, was it plums again? Plums, yeah. <laughs> Immediately she wanted to see if there was some, and yes, she's going to eat the whole can. <laughs> <laughs> the plums are gone. <laughs> Did you happen to check um, to see if there was enough toilet paper in the outhouse? Um, there After was enough all. on the roll, but I don't know. After all those plums. <laughs> 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 I'm going to find out. <laughs> Okay guys, well my little one is asleep, it's 5 minutes after 10, and I'm going to go to bed too. We'll see you guys in the morning. Sarah, it's 10 after 4, it's time to wake up. Sarah, it's 20 after 4. Shoot one right away this morning and text me so I can get off my stand. <laughs> oh, hopefully I can make it all the way down to mine without having to move a tree. The temperature this morning is 16 degrees and it's not, you know, nothing windy like it was yesterday, but you can still feel that wind coming in. Any little bit of wind is going to be really cold. Tell you right now it's gonna be chilly on the stand, I can feel it. Well, I saw no fresh tracks on the walk-in, but every other day we did see fresh tracks and saw no deer, so maybe it'll go the other way today. And one hour and two minutes until we can shoot. Well, I've been sitting out here for about five hours now. It's just about 10.30. If it was two days ago before daylight saving, it's 11.30, so. Anyway, I think I, I gotta go pee. <laughs> Time to get down and head back and get some lunch. I really thought that, you know, today it was calm. It was cold, I mean, it wasn't brutal, but it was cold. And I didn't hear any shots at all. So it just surprises me. I just think all this snow has kind of changed the deer's habits for right now. I've had this happen before. We get that snow and it was a bad opening weekend and then I come up here third weekend and really, really did good. Saw a lot of deer. But you just got to take it one day at a time. Let's head back to the tent. Hey. Did you see anything? Uh-uh. How about you? Nothing. No, I didn't. I thought this morning for a while it looked like it'd be pretty good, but... Yeah. 
Nothing yet. I was even looking on the road as I like walk back and stuff and I didn't see any tracks on the road. No, I didn't either. No fresh tracks anywhere. My dad said he didn't see any either. Some chicken for tonight. I've got some somewhere here. Okay. All right, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> Good luck. It heated up to 26 degrees. I'm sure this is as warm as it's going to get today. Go back out and give it one more afternoon try here. Tomorrow morning we'll do it again if we don't get a deer and then it'll be time to head home until next weekend. Well, it's about time to call it a day. I heard one shot tonight. Did you see anything? Nothing. Who, there was a shot over here. How close was that? Was that a long ways away? Uh, it wasn't like super close, but it wasn't far away either. Oh, really? Times. That was over there. I think they might have been practicing. Well, maybe that was the same shot. Well, that's so. what I thought. Is I'm like, well, we shoot four times we're practicing properly. Right. I didn't hear. I don't think I heard. Maybe they were all together. They could have been. So, yeah. cool. All right. Well, another day with nothing. Well, we got the wood box filled up. Uh, I got the barbecue going. Sarah's heating up some water to do dishes. I'm gonna do this uh, chicken leg quarters on that barbecue, but I'm gonna put the diamond willow on there. Sarah's never had it smoked with diamond willow. And it should be pretty good. And then we'll be picking things up to get it halfway clean in here tonight because tomorrow we'll hunt the morning hunt. And then we'll head home, which is Tuesday. And then I'm going to be back up here Friday. So, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It, well, it has to be pretty perfect. So, <laughs> fairly clean. <laughs> My dad was going to go home tomorrow also and then come up third weekend. And then I told him, well, I'm going home tomorrow and I have to for work. And then I'll come back up Friday. So now he thinks he's going to stay the whole week. And then, well, what he told me is he'll have me drag his deer out next weekend. <laughs> and then he'll stay through Sunday or Monday, but then he's not going to come up the third weekend. And unless I, you know, get my deer and everything, I'm planning on coming up here third weekend for sure. Lost more than Mel
Get it, check off. I kept in a trace the location of her call. Done? Yep, this one's done. Awesome. I guess I'll just check them all. Sarah is in there talking to Melissa on Skype. I was just out here checking the barbecue. I like to leave this open so them coals can die down so I can put the cover on tomorrow after I get back. So it's covered up when I head home. Well, it's about 10 o'clock, and we are headed to bed. Sarah, it's 4.30. It's time to wake up. air temperature outside right now is 10 degrees that means it's going to go down a few degrees when that sun starts coming up it's chilly and there is some wind so uh, this is definitely the roughest morning of them so far Well everyone, it's 9 o'clock, temperature is 9 degrees right now. Nice morning, that wind that was here this morning before it got light out when I was back at the tent, that's gone. Have not heard any shots at all, so the only good thing is there's a lot more days left in the season and the deer that are usually around here with no shots, they're still around here somewhere. Nobody's shooting them. I'm looking forward to getting back up here next weekend and getting back out in the stand. Sarah coming in here so she must already have walked back to the tent or on her way back. Pretty cold this morning. She's probably already back there. Well now that we're back to the tent we're just going to pack everything up and head south. Everything's hanging up right now, because I'll be back here in three days.
everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching part one here of the Minnesota deer hunting opener. The first weekend is done. Like I said, I'll be back up here in three days. It's nice to see that the uh, tent went from chaos to calm. <laughs> it looks good. I'll see you guys on the next video.